Happy Tuesday! It's Literacy Week. Here are Juliana and Sabrina with today's report. Take it away. Happy Tuesday, Proud Penguins! Today is January 25th and it's National Florida Day. Celebrated annually on January 25th, National Florida Day is observed to recognize Florida, the 27th state to join us to join the USA. Florida is a place that has a rich history. Man-made wonders, amazing theme parks, NASA, and warm, relaxing beaches. And don't forget the proud penguins of R.L. Stevenson. Who could forget them? Let's celebrate our proud country and school as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance and the Proud Penguin Pledge. Everyone, please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Respect, responsibility, and citizenship, too. They bring out the best in me and you. Trustworthiness and being fair Help to show others that we really care. We all know it's right. We all know it's good. We all do the things that we know we should. Please remain standing as we reflect on our great state. You may be seated. Hey, Isabel, what kind of good news do you have for us? Today's headline, Ikea buys land damaged by hurricane in Florida to protect, to plant forest. The owner of the Ikea furniture chain just bought 3,200 acres of forest in Florida that have been destroyed by a, by a hurricane in order to restore it with long leaf pine trees. Part of the retail giant's commitment to carbon neutrality, Inca Group has gradu gradually accumulated more than 600,000 fo forested acres in the U.S., Europe, and New Zealand to offset the CO2 it releases while manufacturing its furniture. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Isabel. Now let's go to Charlie in our weather studio. Thanks, guys. Looks like the rain chances are high today at 80%. The temperatures remain consistent at 63 degrees. Have you ever heard of a smart flower solar array? The smart flower solar array is an all-in-one ground mounted solar system with a tractor th that follows the sun. The smart flower's name comes from its design. The solar cells are arranged in individual petals that open at the beginning of each day and look like a flower. After the sun goes down, the smart flower's petals fold up and a self-cleaning process kicks in. Smart flower can produce significantly more electricity than a rooftop solar panel system. Up to 40% more, according to smart flower's website. Now back to you guys. Thank you, Charlie. As you know, penguins, today, as a part of Literacy Week, is Buddy Up and Read Day. Who are you reading with? That's right, Sabrina. And tomorrow is a visit with our special guest author, Margaret Livermore. I know. I'm so excited to meet her. She wrote 
the book Animals of the Indian River Lagoon. And she also wrote Laguna Lands, the talent show, which is all about the animals that live in the Indian River Lagoon. So obviously, she knows a lot about our area. And if that's not enough, we also have Literacy in the Arts Night tomorrow night. The program starts promptly at 3.30, so be sure to follow the directions from your teachers and listen for the announcements at dismissal time. Another busy day here in Penguin Land. Before we wrap up today's show, how about we honor Florida with some Florida trivia? The state of Florida has a very unique shape. What type of landform is Florida? Is it A, a plateau, B, a peninsula, C, a plain, or D, a basin? Okay, we'll give you five more seconds. Here are your choices again. A, a plateau, B, a peninsula, C, a plain, or D, a basin? Five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is B, a peninsula. A peninsula is a landform that is almost surrounded entirely by water, but it is connected to the mainland on one side. And as we know, Florida is surrounded on three sides by water. All right, penguins, it's time to say goodbye for now. Everyone, enjoy reading with your buddy today. See you tomorrow. Thank you.